Hey everyone, so yes, this is like my first tutorial since I've been back. Um, I decided to go ahead and do this book. Um, I'm actually getting ready for tonight. Um, date night! So, um, anyway, this look, I don't know what to call it, but it's kind of like a smoky, uh, gray, green color. I don't know what to call it, but, um, I really like it. I actually got inspired, um, by a picture that I saw. I don't know where I saw it, but anyways, I got inspired by a picture. It was a really, really pretty eyeshadow kind of color, so I decided to kind of do my own little take on it. Um, it's more of a little smoky look, but not really. Like, it's very, um, wearable, so I really like it. Um, pretty much what I used was my new neutral eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the same neutral palette that you can find on eBay and um, other makeup companies, but I decided to give this company a try. Um, and also, everything that I use in this video for, as you know, the disclaimer that we have to do, I purchased myself. Um, I am not endorsed by these companies. They do not endorse me, so I don't get paid for it. <laughs> but anyway, other than that, I hope that you guys like this look. All the products that I use, of course, will be listed in the description box with anything else. Any information that you need to know as far as colors, everything's going to be in there. Dupes and all. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, down there, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I did was actually applied a eyeshadow base. I used Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You can use Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, and even L'Oreal Decrease Eyeshadow Base. Any good base. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. This one here. And I'm going to apply it all over the lid. This is very creamy, so you can actually apply it right onto the lid if you like. If you don't, you can actually use a brush. And then also, um, once you apply it all over the lid, you can either blend it out with your finger, but I'm going to be using um, just a concealer brush. Kind of that, blend it up a little bit. Just like that. It should look like that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using my BH Cosmetics Neutral Palette, which looks like this beautiful palette and if you go to the last row third one down I'm gonna pick up kind of this shimmery satin uh, satin kind of taupe brown color really really pretty if you're using MAC you can probably use um, either satin taupe but I'm actually gonna be doing some mixtures of colors so if you're using MAC and you have guilt by association you can use that as well so what you want to do is pick up a little bit of product and we're just gonna apply it right all over that black base. Now if you want you can use a little bit of mixing medium. This is just the still water. You can use MAC Fix Plus, damp your brush a little bit, and then pick up some more color if you want a little bit more of a color payoff. As you see, it's definitely different when you apply it wet in comparison to applying it dry. And you kind of want to blend it up a little bit into the crease as well. You got it all over the black base. What you want to do is the third row in Oops, one, two, three. I'm going to pick up this second to last color here, which is this green color. Um, this would, hmm, I'm trying to think of the dupe for MAC, but let me think about it. <laughs> but I'm going to apply that right all over that. Like I said, if you have the MAC Guilt by Association color, you can definitely use that instead. So this is just a really, really pretty green color. And it just gives a different look. And I love how it just, like, changes. So I'm just kind of blending the color into the crease a little bit. And applying that green until you get the consistency of what you want. Just like that. So once you're done, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is my um, MAC 224. And um, second to last row, fourth one from the bottom. I'm going to pick up that light brown color. Um, this will actually be a dupe for Soba or Soft Brown. So we're just going to kind of go right into the crease and just blend. This is a really great um, color to put in your crease um, because it um, matches my skin tone but it softens up those edges. So once you've done that, I'm going to be using um, MAC's Glamour Check, which looks like this. It's a star flash color. 
And I'm going to be using my 217 brush. This, um, it's kind of like a burgundy brown um, with red undertone. And we're going to go like right into the crease and just blending all that out. Just like that. And if it's a little too harsh, go back with that blending color and your 224 and just kind of like lighten it up. Just like that. Very pretty. So the next thing that you want to do is a highlight color. I'm going to do a little mix through. Um, third one in, I'm going to be using this peach color and then also this color, a mixture. Um, you can use any highlight color that you like. I'm just kind of dipping my brush in both and going right under the brow. It's a very subtle color. And then I'm going to take my 224 brush or where those colors meet. Right, so the next thing you want to do is line your um, tight line and water line. I'm going to be using my favorite liner, which is Feline by MAC. If you don't have this, you can use any liner that you like, but this is just like my all-time favorite. It goes on like butter. It just came back out, and I always bought like two or three of these, so I got like six lines. And then I'm going to be taking a liquid liner. I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Even though it's um, cheap, call you know, cheap, it's very good quality, and I actually like the... Um, little tip better than um, most of the other brushes. So you just want to kind of do a line. Not too, too thick, but not too thin. Um, I'm just applying this so my lashes will mix a little better. Okay, once you're finished with that, you want to add some mascara. I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Lash Blast. I love this mascara. Um, especially when you're in a rush, it is a good mascara that you don't have to really do a whole lot of work with. So I'm just going to do that. And always remember, um, ladies, especially if you don't have longer lashes, like myself, I have short lashes. Um, with darker, more heavier looks, your lashes can get lost. So definitely invest in some lashes, some falsies. Um, if it is... Too much of a hassle, um, you can use individuals or even get ones that kind of have like the little placement. But um, I'm going to add my lashes and I'll be back. Okay, for my blush, I'm going to be using my blush and contour palette from um, BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to be kind of using this little pink color here with a mixture of the lighter pink. Um, use whatever blush that you want, but don't go like over overkill on it. I'm just going to be using a blush color and I just kind of like stipple on a little bit just kind of add some color to the cheeks not anything too bright and then if it's too light too dark or too much I always can add a little bit of a lighter powder to kind of and for the lips um like I said with any kind of darker eye color you want to do I'm um, a nude lip so I'm just going to condition it with um and chapstick just like that and I can't find my purse <laughs> but um that would be good that usually